I'm Angie, and you're watching Dante's 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 Vaccinating. Dante's Boxing Nation, what's going on guys? Man, this news right here is a serious game changer and it speeds up the process on everything. So since Jerron Ennis is the number one contender for the IBF belt, which is the belt that Errol Spence holds, according to Jerron Ennis's trainer, the IBF has given Errol Spence 40 days to either fight or vacate the belt. IBF, we, we got to make a statement. And plus it's for the IBF interim which we already number one for Spence title. So that's just like cutting it in the half. Just like uh, when I talked to Dallas Peoples, he's saying the same, he didn't want to split it up like that, but he had to because uh, they already made uh, made their minds up about that WBC. A matter of fact, at the WBC convention that Spence was going supposed to be fighting um, Keith Thurman, Thurman, Keith Thurman. So they already put that in before we even, you know, said anything to him about it, but we shouldn't have to say nothing to him about it because we was number one. Mm -hmm. And he should have, you know, followed through with that. But I guess they beat him to the punch. All right, so, um, like you said, Boots is number one. Yeah. This is for the IBF interim. Yeah. You petitioned to fight Spence. They ordered you to fight yeah. Aaron for the mandatory. Right. Now, will the fight be ordered at, like after this? Oh, yeah. Yeah, after this, um, Spence, whoever you fight, he got 120 days to, to fight Boots or, or get a title up. Okay. Yeah. Oh, uh, shit. I guess, you know, Spence versus Crawford for Undisputed. It, it has to happen quick. Uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> yep, it has to happen really quick. In fact, that's the exact reason why I feel the fight is definitely going to happen now. If Errol Spence is going to be ordered to fight Jerron Ennis, then fighting Terrence Crawford for Undisputed first is a complete no-brainer. It makes no sense to hang around at 147 if you're not going to fight Terrence Crawford or Jerron Ennis. So I want to believe Errol Spence and Terrence Crawford, they are going to make that fight happen. Now, Errol just recently said that he plans on returning to the ring in either April, May, or June, which means it would make all the sense in the world for Errol's next fight to be against Terrence Crawford. Because once again, Errol Spence just said, He's planning on returning around May or June. Now, if Errol Spence doesn't take the Terrence Crawford fight, then he's definitely going to have to either fight Jerron Ennis or vacate. And if he did do that, it would be to move to 154. So we're about to seriously get some stuff expedited. Let's see how it all plays out. That's all I got for now, guys. I'm on to the next one. All right, now check this out, guys. If you're looking to repair eczema scars, burns and bruises, dark spots and blemishes, the fever blisters, diabetic ulcers, this right here is the perfect product for you guys. It's called L.O. Key Face and Body Oil. Athletes and top-ranking boxers, they're also using it after training to reduce swelling, inflammation, and to ease the pain. So get yours today. Go to LODeKey.com. Like them on Facebook and follow them on Instagram. Let me tell you guys about Issa Israel Law Firm. It is a full-service legal practice based in Denver, Colorado, an emerging hub for combat sports and high-altitude training. If you're a fighter inside or outside of the ring and you need a law firm you can trust to fight for you, visit thefighterfirm.com or email help at iilawfirm.com. Legal representation is usually limited to plaintiffs or defendants in Colorado, but iFirm can help anyone in the world with trademarking their business name, logos, and U.S. immigration issues. This brother has been my attorney for a while and helped guide me through all kinds of business and civil issues, so make sure you guys go to thefighterfirm.com.